Hi. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is. I'm Dead the Drunk and today we're going to be looking at a security system that I've tried to get working before with varying degrees of success but I think I've finally nailed it. Uh, it's a very simple way to keep your settlers from stealing your guns, stealing your power armour when you come under attack. Uh, it's not very pl practical for when you're away from your settlement but we'll get into that in the video. Anyway, without any further delay, let's crack on. And here we are lounging on our couch at Outpost Zamonja's laboratory. Let's go have a quick look at this automated defence system. Now I have tried to do something like this in the past at one of my settlements. So let's just have a quick rundown. We've got a security door. In there, theoretically, we've got loads of unique and legendary weapons that we do not want our settlers getting hold of because they will run off and you've got to try and figure out which one's got which, which is a pain. So we want this door to shut when we are under attack. Now we've got a couple of sirens. We've got our defensive set up here, a couple of turrets, Piper and <laughs> uh, a spotlight on an interval switch. They're already connected up, the sirens already have power. Now this is how I had connected it before, just ignore this logic git for the time being. We've got our two way door. Operating as such. Now in the past when I've tried this, I've just put the siren straight in and the door opens and the switching goes all over the place because the switches the door will not open until both of these are switched off because the sirens on it's exactly one power going through and it powers the door so let me just turn that off and let's get rid of that one. Uh, we'll take these off the mains. This is why you need this extra logic gate. Now on there I've already connected both the sirens uh, to the input as well as this power conduit which is coming straight off the mains. That is your permanent supply so so long as that permanent supply is connected and the sirens are off it will transmit power so we want this to go to our switches as you see they're receiving power and this will operate like a normal two-way door okay so because we've got these sirens on this logic gate, however, as soon as we turn one of them on, the door shuts. Our security activates. Sirens obviously going off. Settlers are getting themselves armed, ready to fight. But these switches become inoperable because of this uh, logic gate. And even if we put both on, because it has to, it, the out input has to equal exactly one, uh, only one can have power for it to transmit power. If more than one has power, it won't transmit. If none of them have power, it won't transmit. So this, this one from the mains has to be on at all times. So let's just turn that off because that's giving me a headache. As soon as I turn it off and the sirens eventually shut up, power is restored, we've got our normal two-way door. And our secure our turrets are not taking up any uh, of our electricity supply. Can be quite useful if say you wanted to have this connected up with say a, fact a factory say you've got several forges running but you do not have access or the resources to build a fusion generator or one of the Voltec reactors rather than having 
a ridiculous amount of uh, diesel generators you can reduce how many you have and just divert the power as you see fit the only downfall is as soon as this is switched off our defense has dropped our defense is currently 21 because of the defense outside as soon as I turn it on our defense goes up to 31 uh, getting eight defense from the shotgun turret and two from the spotlight and there comes out one of our scientists now this will be an issue if you are not at your settlement if you are not at your settlement and those turrets are powered then you have more chance of losing any fight if you're not present so there is a downfall but it is a cool little uh, aesthetic piece as well as it being a little bit functional as well so I hope you found that video helpful and maybe you use that idea in your uh, settlement builds in the future if you did find it useful give it a thumbs up and if you have any suggestions of things you want me to cover please drop it in the comments down below my Upload schedule may get a little bit inconsistent from here, so please drop a subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I come live. I'm not going to upload more than once a week, so don't worry, you're not going to get spammed. Also check in the description down below, you'll find links to my Twitch as well as my social media. Drop us a follow on there and drop into the stream. I stream 5 and 8 sort of 7 and it's a good laugh, at least I think. So please drop in there, but most of all, thanks for watching.